<clears throat> it's Nancy today. This little pond beside the road has had logs in it for as long as I can remember. And I never got out to look at them before. But if you look carefully, you'll see that there's not only logs on the surface, there's logs beneath the surface. There's lots of logs in this river, in this pond. And I think what has happened under the water. I thought logs would rot if you put them in water. But the guy the other day said that that you can take logs out of water many, many, many years later and they're as good as new. So all these logs are in this river. They've all come, are in this pond. I don't know where the pond so they've come down, come downstream to this point, and they're just here, just being kept here, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 Nine, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 35 logs in that little tiny area of that. 35 logs. So how many do you think there's there? So there's 35 there, there's 100 just in that little area. So there must be 1,000, there might be 2,000 logs in there. That's all the ones you can't see because they're underneath. I thought all this time that, that was just such a waste. Because it's actually storage. So that ash tree that I threw in my stream, because I didn't feel like hammering on it to get the ash wood to separate for splitting it for my baskets, because of all, because of that. Isn't that awesome? Like, it'll be wonderful. It'll be. It'll store. Okay, so that's about how to store your wood. <laughs> Bye. Now, these are not cut logs. I have no idea how it would work if your logs are cut and you have then boards. I don't know that it would work for boards, but it might. Okay, goodbye.